So by now you're aware that the Soviets are here in Gunnery PC. And I figured it'd be a great opportunity to talk about the Soviet style of attack, which is quite different than NATO doctrine, and I'll show you some gameplay on one of the missions. Although not all the missions can fully simulate a true Soviet style of attack, there are a few smaller scale missions that somewhat demonstrate this in a smaller scale. Most mission tasks are assigned to the division level, and so rather than focusing on the front, the Soviet divisions would do more of a depth of operation, meaning instead of focusing on the front lines, they look to attack deep into enemy's rear, Think of it as them looking at the bigger picture in the battle, and to accomplish greater results with that. How this will look like is that the division will look at the bigger picture of taking out the enemy's division, while the regimental level will be assigned to eliminate the enemy battalions, and while the battalions will focus on the enemy platoons and company strong points, which you can see in this figure. So in terms of our mortar rifle regiment's deployment, first deploy their recon elements, such as the combat recon patrol team, and behind them about 10 kilometers is the forward security element, also known as the advanced guard, about a battalion's strength, which consists of tank companies, motorized rifle companies, signals, anti-tank platoons, and just behind them is the main force consisting of the headquarters, anti-tank batteries, artillery, and a tank battalion. Behind them is the rear guard, and that may consist of a platoon size unit. Typically in a Soviet attack, they would emphasize on relying on heavy artillery and close air support. Before attacking, they usually pre-plan the artillery on known enemy defensive positions or on headquarters. So if you ever play as Soviets in Gunner Heat PC, make sure to use your supports as much as you can because they emphasize a lot of that. At this point, you should also understand that combined arms and cooperation between units are key to successful attack. They also believe that tanks are a major weapon in their attack, which makes up their backbone along with their infantry. And usually, once a breakthrough is achieved, units will look to exploit that and move into the rear. And so these are some of the characteristics of a Soviet-style doctrine of attack. Sure, there's a lot more nuances, but that could be another video for another day. Even though Gunner Heat PC is still limited at this point in development, you can put yourselves in a battalion level at best, so that you're part of a bigger picture of what's going on. And I hope you guys learned a thing or two about the Soviet style of attack, as it's not just send everything to the front and hope for the best. I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay, and again, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I do cover tactical immersive games. And I know a lot of you who watch my videos haven't subscribed yet, so please do so if you enjoy my content. And let's get right into the planning. So the mission that we're going to be doing today is called Red Steel. And our objective here is to capture Objective 1 on the north and Objective 2 on the south. We'll be using T-64s and BMP-2s, and we do have fire support such as close air and artillery. First, with our tanks, we'll be moving up to secure battle position Anna. Once we hold that position, our mechanized infantry or BMP company will move into the north or also known as our left flank. While our BMPs will advance, our tanks will cover as we move into the next phase line. BMPs are set, we'll move our tanks up to the phase line and we will begin our assault. As we're attacking objective 1, one of our platoons will be doing a frontal assault while we will take control of the other platoon and do a flank attack. Once we've secured objective 1, our tanks will move into objective 2 and clear any remaining enemies from there. Once we have secured both objectives, we will move our tanks into a hasty defensive position. Approximately to this hill, we'll either take up the hill or we'll move back and do a reverse slope defense. And again, we are applying Soviet tactics here, and so that's one of the things that they'll do as a follow-up. We'll try our best to utilize smokes, artillery, and close air support on our attack. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we're going to move out right now, and we're going to move our platoon in a line formation as we're about to begin our attack. And I'm also going to disable our Delta D so that we can out of sight a range of about 1,000 meters, and that should hit anything up close. If you guys are having trouble with the T-64A, I encourage you guys to check out my gunnery guide, and that should help you with some tips and tricks with the tank. But if you're familiar with the M60A1, then you should somewhat be familiar with this tank. So I do see a burning BRDM on our right side. That could be from the combat recon patrol team that was here earlier on. So that's a nice little detail. And I do see a contact, and now it's an APC, and firing out, nope. and target. Looks like he's still alive. And uh, what's more? Alright, commander still has to cease fire, so he might have reported that tanks were coming this way, so they'll be ready. And as we're moving closer to our battle positions, I'm gonna call in some 
mortars on objective one, as well as some close air support on objective two. And we'll call one more on objective one as well. Alright, so we're gonna keep an eye out to our front. And we are approaching close to our battle position. Oh, managed to spawn something. Looks like a tank has been spotted. And that should be... Yep, that should be good. And... Firing note. And target. I'll fire once more. That might be a target. Yep, that is a target. And it's telling us to cease fire. And we're... Tomato is telling us... APC identified on the left. Don't see him. Oh, could be a tank to our front. Is that tank still alive? I think that tank might be destroyed. Yep. Oh, nice. Look at our close air support. Good effect. And yep, APC on the left. Yeah, they're giving them hell. Alright, so we're gonna hold right here until our BMP company is set up on our left flank. So we're gonna cover them for now. Alright, so we're going to take control of 2nd Company, 1st Platoon, BMP. And what we're going to do now is we're going to call in smoke. We're going to land it on Objective 2, so whatever units are there won't be able to see what we're doing. As well as more closer support. Call in one more on Objective 1. And so we're going to move more so to the left, so that we can actually flank and attack Objective 1. I believe the other platoon is going to be fixing towards the front. So we don't want to collide on that attack. We're going to set our battle site to about a thousand meters. And once we get closer to town, we'll move it down to about 500 or less. Oh, looks like we're taking shots and missiles away. Could be tanks to our right. Yeah, they're engaging something over there. Now, do you see your objective? Got a tank. Oh, yeah, tank spotted. Oh, okay. Tank's destroyed. Two tanks down. And let's look towards the town. I oh, that is an M109 right there. And let's engage it and fire. Don't think our commander sees it, but I do see it. And that is dangerous. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Yeah, there's only so much that our cast and our flitter can do on that, so... Right. Oh, looks like we got APCs on Objective 2. And one over there, just the front. And I think there is something over there. Let's switch to HE and suppress that area. Down. Okay, it looks like two APCs destroyed. And I'm gonna switch over to our T64s, and they're gonna move about a thousand meters to the next point. And then once they're there, we're gonna take control of our BMPs again and flank and take objective one. Yeah, so it looks like our BMPs did a really good job in taking out those two tanks. On the hill. So we're gonna stop just right before the road and then we'll move up with our BMPs. Good thing we took out the M109s on our left, or it would have been a bad day for these tanks, or else these tanks would be, be destroyed. And we'll stop right here and let's stick. 
control of our BMPs again. Oh, there's something over there on objective two again. Let's try to smoke it again. HE that area there. So we're approaching the first objective. We have taken it. I don't think we cleared it yet, so that's why we're gonna move up with our BMPs. So that truck is uh, destroyed. It was the M109. I just want to confirm that is. Yep, that is destroyed. Yeah, I like that. And that's our smoke. So I'm going to get our BMPs to set up a defensive position on objective one while we could take control of our tanks. And what we're going to do now is we're going to move towards the south and attack the second objective. And we're going to hold our artillery because we don't want to get friendlies with that. And again, smokes are a great tool to use to blind the enemy from seeing what you're doing and how they can respond. So it's always good to utilize those smokes. That is a Bradley. Oh my goodness, shooting a missile at us. Another one on the left on and oh, nice hit by our other tank. Yeah, so we're going to keep flanking around. See how our BMPs are doing. Okay, they're still alive, which is great. Okay, we're gonna move around the town. Oh, that was really close. Good thing we got those Bradleys on time. Okay, we've taken objective two. Let's make sure that it's clear. And we have taken both objectives. But I'm not sure about the enemy reinforcements if they're coming or not. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a reverse slope right here on this hill to my front and we'll wait for enemy reinforcements. And they're still smoking. Alright, so they are arting and smoking our positions, so... Oh, yep, there's something going on right there. Alright, I'm going to turn off the hood so you don't see that message in front. Looks like our BMPs are engaging something. We'll hold the boat right here and we'll wait for the tanks to come up. We're just gonna check on our BMPs to see if they got a good line to set or not. Oh yeah, they are coming up. Alright, we'll hold here. Let's see how our BMPs are doing. Alright, so we're not done yet. There is a tank platoon coming our way. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be switching to the BMPs and back to the tanks to see how close the tanks are, and we'll go from there. So let's take control of our tanks again. And now we'll wait. So if you're wondering what a reverse slope defense is, it's basically positioning yourselves on the slope of the hill. And the advantage of doing this is to prevent the enemy from seeing you until it's too late. Basically, you're keeping yourselves concealed until they come up. Alright, so uh, right here should be okay. Alright, so we're using our BMP spot if they're coming or not. And our tanks are right there. Oh, yep, there is an M60 coming up. Get ready. I see him. I see his antenna. Okay, yep. Tank on the right as well, too. And... Wait, wait, wait. And fire now. Nice. Tank destroyed. I think got one on the right. No. Check our left. Yep, tank destroyed on the left. Tank destroyed on the right. There should be four in a tank platoon, so that... Is the last one. Oh, there it is. And target. 
Oh my goodness. Here we got him. And he's on fire. There you go. That's a full tank platoon destroyed. And thank goodness for our BMPs that were occupying their attention. The BMPs were the MVPs, but uh, we only lost two of them, so not too bad. And their sacrifice is worth it. So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go look at our after action review. Alright, so looking at the mission results, we only lost three equipment, but zero on the crew loss, so that's pretty good. But NATO did suffer a lot on this, not surprising. And looking at this, we took out the first APC, and then we were engaging the tanks on Objective 2. There are at least two of them that we were able to destroy. And then we got the APCs on the first objective, which our 64s took out. So as we were moving out, our BMPs were very effective in taking out the two M60s on this hill. And then we spotted the ITV right here. And yeah, we kept firing at that because it did fire on us, but it missed. As we were moving up, we did see APCs on objective two and there were M113s. And we managed to hit them as much as we can. But yeah, we, you do have to be careful of the 50 cals because they can actually do a lot of damage on you if you're not careful. So what I did was actually use HE rounds to suppress the area right here because I knew that there was going to be an ATGM person right here. And if infantry did exist in Gunner PC, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to suppress the houses right here because it would likely that they would be hiding in these houses anyways. So a good practice to do is really just suppress with HE against infantry. Alright, so as we were moving, so we took control of our tanks and we were moving up to flank the second objective and we spotted the grad lead right here. We managed to take him out with one hit, not a problem for us. And then our second tank destroyed the second Bradley in town. And yep, our BMPs right here spotted the M60s. I don't think this launcher was effective against this tank. Or at least this tank was lucky. So what happened here was that one of our platoons was engaging the M60s, which they saw first. And thankfully, they kept them occupied so that our tanks can engage the enemy tanks. So I don't think we took any crew losses except for equipment, so that's pretty good for us. So yeah, you can see here we were waiting for the tanks to appear, and our BMPs was able to send a Conqueror's missiles and destroy this M60. So over here was about a 141 meters, and we destroyed the M60. Same with our other tanks, they were engaging the M60s. So over here, the BMPs were engaging the last tank that was moving up. For some reason, they were using HE rounds to engage. Pretty sure it might have knocked out their sights. Yeah, a lot of shots was happening towards this tank right here. And over here with our 3BM32, we just launched around at him, and I think he was destroyed by that point. So overall, I think we did a really good job in the attack. We've tried to apply some basic Soviet tactics like implementing close air support and artillery, as well as extending our depth of the attack. Even though we're somewhat limited by the game, it is pretty interesting to have a Soviet style attack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and mission. I tried to make my gameplay a little bit more tactical and educational, so let me know your thoughts on it. And remember, Gunner Heat PC is still in development, so there's more things to come for sure. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.